Uh, it's got to be any Wallace and Gromit, because um, I, I grew up watching Wallace and Gromit. Oh, uh, I think it would have to be Spirited Away. Uh, or that, or Belleville Rendezvous. But Spirited Away, I remember when I watched it, I, I just watched it over and over again. Uh, I just think it's really magical. I, I would say my favourite animated film would be Jason and the Argonauts. Uh, mainly because of the uh, the use of live action and stop motion, I think it's quite quite unique. If anything, I've got to go with the film Yellow Submarine. It's uh, it's an amazing piece. It's um, very arty, very sort of uh, kind of uh, shows all the psychedelic stuff of the Beatles in it. This is a tricky one, as I have so many. My fully animated favorites include Big Hero Six and Zootropolis. But I also like some of the part animation, part live action films like the new BFG and Jungle Book films. Well, that's a tricky one. Well, my childhood was mainly around in the 90s and obviously that was the decade of Toy Story which was a, obviously a first for first, you know, full CG animated films. But I do admire anything of 2D or claymation or you know, stop motion animation regardless. Um, I suppose Over the Hedge from the 2000s is possibly my overall favourite, though it might be clashing with Toy Story really. Uh, my favourite animator would be Ray Harryhausen, uh, again referring back to um, Jason and the Argonauts. Um, yeah, and through working at the studio and doing research, research into Ray Harryhausen, you realise how many films he's actually been involved in and how many projects he's worked on. Uh, I think it would be Glenn Keane and Eric Goldberg, who are two Disney animators that anim like animated um, in like the Renaissance like stage of Disney, so like the Tarzan and Little Mermaid. Stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Although, in terms of the films I mentioned that are considered my favourites, I do have a soft spot for, you know, Wallace and Gromit, aka Nick Park. But I do come to admire other animators as well, including Don Bluth, who did films such as American Tale, Possibly Balto, The Secret of Nim, and the Dragon's Lair arcade video game series. I genuinely cannot remember what my first one was, although I was really into Thomas the Tank Engine when I was little. The very first animation I experienced was uh, Morph. Heck, I even uh, like uh, watching Saturday morning cartoons like The Smurfs or Scooby Doo, stuff like that. My first animated film was. Oh, what was it called? Um... The Land Before Time? Is that what it's called? Dawn with the Dinosaurs? I watched that when I was really young. When animating a project, it is always funny when people accidentally kick the tripod. Yes, I hold my hands up. I'm guilty of that too. Well, it's got to be uh, at Hallam University when uh, we first started the claymation course. We had a uh, former artman, uh, staff member, he told us about how we uh, worked on Sledgehammer and Nick Park had to wear a a face mask when animating the, these um, dancing chickens which uh, were actual Tesco's chickens so there was a really rank odour in the studio when uh, he was animating them apparently and all the students started chuckling away. <laughs> it was rather funny hearing this story. I think I like that there's like anything's possible and so you can just really go wild with your imagination and create just also creating something from nothing and it becoming, well, alive. To see Wallace and Gromit as an adult now, you um, you see all the references and the little Easter eggs that um, Nick Park hid. Being more into the editing side, I like using special effects to make each project interesting and unique. One of the main tasks when editing is taking the green out and adding a background. It seems possibilities are endless, you just need to get around it. I mean, obviously it's, it's making the inanimate animate, even though to do so it involves taking the images of the inanimate 
just moving it a little. And of course there are many versions of it and what we need to understand it is a medium rather than a genre and it does go into other sorts of mediums including television and as I said video games and, and films. It's, uh, it's not. It's, it's not just the way. It's these, uh, just these like these drawings or these figures moving. It's it, it, It's like looking at a living being, really. Mm. It's. Uh, it's got its own life. It's like you're inside their own world, really. Yeah, and Paul McCartney's frog. And Paul McCartney. Um, we all stand oh together. God, it was amazing. The animation was incredible. Oh, yeah, the animation. Well, was yeah, all the all the stop yeah. motion. It was yeah, beautiful. Yeah, and when it was uh, yeah. rising in the oven, yeah. the best. I saw it at the cinema last week. Wow, it was so good. It's so amazing. Yeah, I think it's. I mean, I've got uh, Rupert and the Frog song on VHS. Mm. It's, uh, wow. I love that. Yeah, that's great. It's what, so it's annoying. What amazing the illusion cake. Mm. It was so amazing. Funny enough, uh, like he got the airbrush. Funny enough, I learnt that um, that oh, one, uh, that one, that uh, that beat. Um, that's what I thought. I was that like, that one in the water. That was the tank engine in the water. That one in the audience. So.